One day, I got into my car, and after starting it, I heard this. After doing some research, I found out what the problem was. The Achilles heel to the C6 Corvette, the torque tube issue. So what is the torque tube issue? From the C5 through C7s, there's two main bearings that go on each end of the drive shaft. And over time, those bearings wear out, causing the drive shaft to wobble up and down, or side to side even, in kind of like this motion. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so that motion, that wobble gets worse and worse over time. And this could, you know, obliterate the bearings, it could obliterate the couplers, and it could also obliterate the spline on the drive shaft itself, causing problems to your transmission. So I did some more research on how to fix this, and what I found out was I wasn't qualified enough and I didn't have the necessary tools and I seen that people did it on a jack but it was a very very tight fit and also I was worried that I can't take it out and put it all back together hey guys Chris fix here so I decided to get some professional help lots of car guys fall into this trap where they don't want to do maintenance and instead rather buy mods because Maintenance doesn't turn heads. I didn't want to fall into that trap and I knew it was wrong and in the back of my head, every time I drove this car, I just had torque <laughs> to going in. So I knew it was wrong not to get it fixed and yeah, I just had to put up the money and get it done. Now that I knew what the problem was, I had three options. Aftermarket OEM, polyurethane, or go with aluminum. So which coupler did I end up going with? I went with Overkill. I ended up going with aluminum ones and they're not in the car for a reason and I'll explain why a little bit later in the video. I wanted to do a little giveaway in this video and I'm gonna be giving away two aluminum couplers as you can see. Looks pretty cool, I have no use for this. And the way for you to win this is just subscribe, follow me on Instagram and the first two people that uh, DM me coupler is gonna win one of these. You could probably use it for paperweight, an ornament, a doorstop, whatever. If you win it, use it for whatever you want. So my car was at the shop and I thought everything was fine until... They're telling me to order OEM ones and I'll tell you guys why right now. First reason being is this is just a little bit bigger than the OEM piece and they were worried about if we put this back in here, this and everything else won't fit. And then another issue is this absorbs some of the shock, right? So instead of the shock being absorbed through here, it's gonna be absorbed in the bearing, which, you know, I'm gonna have to do this job again. And honestly, this is kind of a little bit overkill. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna order OEM pieces and I don't really need this. So I ended up finding out people would stock ones which this is the stop one, you could see the little crack in there, you know, missing piece. But people that were making, you know, about 600 horsepower was fine with this. And anyone with over 600, they were using polyurethane ones. And people that were making a thousand were using full aluminum ones. So that's not really what I had planned with this car. It's not going to be a crazy horsepower car. And yeah, you know, stick to OEM in my case. I ended up ordering OEM couplers from Chevrolet, but my dad picked them up for me. I was at work and now that I had that part, I was going to sleep well because I knew that part was going to fit and everything was going to go okay, right? One thing that broke right here was when they were taking this out, this uh, plastic piece inside broke. And I'm not surprised, you know, this car is very old and this is where it's really hot. And so they just ordered a whole new shifter cable. No, I mean, you know, it's probably time to replace this, so. Not too bad, not too bad. I remember seeing, just look at how dirty this is and kicked on. So I was worried that one of the axles was busted. So it's actually this one right here. And they asked me if I wanted to replace this. And honestly, it's probably time to replace this anyways. This side is good. Look at how clean this is. Well, it's not super clean. And this is the inside of the torque tube right here. And I thought this was scoring at first, but uh, it's just a rubber seal that goes in here. So. Yeah, this looks good. The surface looks good right here. What should have been a one-week job turned into a three-week job. I had to order new couplers, they ordered a new shifter cable, as well as a new axle boot, and they also replaced the transmission fluid and differential fluid in the process. And so, 
My car was finally fixed and it was time to start it. And it sounded so good. There was no more rattling. And after tracking my car, it wasn't, you know, if it's gonna happen to me, but a matter of when and after 120,000 miles, yeah, 120,000 miles, uh, yeah, one of the bearings ended up wearing out. And I wanna give a big shout out to Omni Auto Repair Shop in Riverside, California. You know, they did the job and did the job wonderfully. They gave me their input, I gave them my input, which was really nice. So if you wanted to know how much this ended up costing, it cost, 3200 and I bought um, the couplers out of pocket straight from GM which two couplers was $500 oh my gosh bringing the price up to $3,700 and this is my most expensive video so far and it's a maintenance video but if you guys enjoyed this video or found it informational please give me a thumbs up like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one